and you know, music is obviously like it's so big in your family. Your dad, yeah, you know, uh, he made he was a DJ. Yeah, he's a DJ. And your mom, she sang and everything. Yeah, she's a singer. How do they feel about, you know, the success that you're having in just your career path? I'm sure they're like, Yeah, yes. they're hella proud. <laughs> nah, they're hella proud of me for it. Like, I, I get applause from, like, my dad, like, every day about it. Like, it's it's really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're, they're really proud, bro. Like, they support it fully, like, 100%. That's dope, man. Do you remember, like, your first time, like, um, getting a laptop or, like, that first, yeah. you know? My time- first laptop. I got my first laptop when I was, like, 10. Mm-hmm. Immediately downloaded FL on that bit. What FL were you using at that time? It was it was FL twenty because okay. it was like the newest version. I downloaded like off the of image line like dot com. So I wasn't even. You bought like, it. You actually bought FL. Yeah, the, I, I I bought my FL. You got a license, man. My boy got the FL in like, my name. In man. his name. Exactly. His, when he opens FL, it says my name. Top my left corner. Yup. It don't say somebody else's shit. No, or, or nothing. None of that. It's my name. Yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Hakeem, and you are watching Our Generation Music. And today, man, I got a very, very special one for y'all. My young boy, Majins, man. Hey, man. Glad to, glad to be here, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's lit. What's up, man? Right here, bro. My boy just got back into school. How's it been? It's probably been, what, like a week or so? Nah, it's only been like three days. Three days? Sure. Yeah, it's only been three days of school already. I mean, it's cool. Like, it's high. Like, what grade know? are you in? I'm a sophomore. You're a sophomore? Yeah. That's your crazy, man. Sophomore producing gold records? Close. Close. It's going to happen. Real close. It's going it's gonna, it's gonna to happen, bro. Document this right now, bro. It's going to happen, bro. It's very close. Antisocial is definitely about to be gold soon. Very cool. Definitely uh, a record that re sparked. You know the flame in the underground with things moving right now mm. what's what's it been like you know having this success in music and you know being young and going to school it's been like kind of like i don't know it's kind of surreal for me bro really because when i was young i always like knew i would definitely have a career and like a passion in music and artistry but i didn't think it would be like this soon but yeah it's Pretty, pretty, a good experience. It's a all out good experience, like in total. For you, you feel like the teachers and the kids treat you differently? Do they definitely, know? definitely differently from when I was in like seventh grade? Because the last time I went to actual school was like, like pre pandemic was like seventh grade. So yeah, seventh grade, it was definitely a different like way people spoke to me than like now. That's fire. So now when you don't don't do your homework and shit, teacher will be like, nah, he's straight. He's gonna be rich anyway. Oh nah, they be calling my dad still, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still call my dad still, bro. What is what is so? How do you juggle that? What's your like schedule like after leaving school? Like, are you doing your homework first and then cooking up, or like really school over anything for real? Like, but I only do that because school, like, you eventually like get out of school, like you eventually graduate. Like, I only like do that because it's a good schedule but school over everything you know i'm a little nervous i ain't gonna hold you but school over everything because you know it's only there for that time like and plus as due dates and stuff like that too so you don't really want to be late so so are you you know when you get home right what do you what what does the day look like after school um definitely just chilling like I get home, just chill, and then I like do my homework. I don't really just start out the gate. As soon as I get home, I just chill out. You hop then, on a game first. You do like what do you do? Like you just get home, hop on a game. Or you something? definitely hop on, hop on a game. Probably hop on Discord. Say what's up, my friends. Mm-hmm. Then I get my homework done, and then it's day's mine. Yeah, the day is mine. How many how many beats you feel like you cooking up a day? Like what, a day? do you have like a schedule, like a set? amount of beats you want to make or nah you just kind of nah there shouldn't be a limit to how much you should make i mean but nah me usually like a day i'd say like probably two three a day two three days like pretty regular for me and these are finished beats or like some rough ideas or something like that there would be like one rough idea but mm-hmm. i wouldn't even count that for real so like yeah two or three like maybe like one or two rough ideas along the way okay bet and and also too you know this is constantly like 
I don't know if it's like a thing in the underground, but like I know like with bigger producers, there's always this conversation about loops and things like that. Like yeah. not losing loops, like you're not a real producer, this and that, all these different weirdo ass things. Yeah. How, what's your thoughts on that? And do you, you loop, do you use loops? Yeah, shit like that don't matter to me personally, because it's like, you know, like it's music, it's art, it's artistry, bro. Music is our art. Like, you can use whatever you really want to make your own art. Like, it's yours at the end of the day, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's really all that matters to me, bro, as long as I'm making minds, bro. I feel that. And how do you, like, go about um, finding people to collaborate with? Like, if a, you know, a producer is up and coming wants to get you loops, like, how do you judge? Do you judge their Instagram? Like, how do you judge, like, how you're going to go about if you want to do that? Is it off the first listen off the loops, or do you give the whole pack, a like, a chance? Um, being real, like being so real, I usually don't like even like listen to them. But if I like, do like really, you know, see your name like a lot of places, just definitely get a placements. I would say like just to you're gonna up. tap in when someone starts getting like well, like when I see like when I start seeing their name a bunch of places, I would definitely be like all right, he's doing something correctly if I'm mm -hmm. seeing him everywhere. So yeah. Okay, I see. Okay, bit or through recommendation, like like recommendations through friends. Okay, even maybe even through Discord. Yeah, like I have some friends on court that will like tell me artists and producers to work with. Okay, fire. What about like um, paid collaborations? Do you have any of that? Like, yeah, I do those. They cool. What are your thoughts on it? Like, cause I feel like, do you like people do them and some people shop the beats and some people don't? Do you like shop? What is your process with it? Personally, with like artistry, like when I'm like rapping, yeah, I buy beats from like. Some of the producers like Goyard, I buy beats from Goyard, like Broke Boy Taylor, I buy beats from Broke Boy Taylor. So it's really just like a support thing, like just showing love for... Okay. Okay, far, yeah. Um, and you know, music is obviously like, it's so big in your family. Your dad, Yeah. you know, uh, he made, he was a DJ? Yeah, he's a DJ. And your mom, she sang and everything? Yeah, she's a singer. How do they feel about, you know, the success that you're having in just your career path? I'm sure they're like, Yeah, yes. they're hella proud. <laughs> nah, they're hella proud of me for it. Like, I, I get applause from, like, my dad, like, every day about it. Like, it's it's really, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they, they're really proud, bro. Like, they support it fully, like, 100%. That's dope, man. Do you remember, like, your first time, like, um, getting a laptop or, like, that first, yeah. you know? My time? first laptop. I got my first laptop when I was, like, 10. Mm hmm Immediately downloaded FL on that bit. What FL were you using at that time? It was it was FL twenty because okay. it was like the newest version. I downloaded like off the of image line like dot com. So I wasn't even You like, bought it. You actually bought FL. Yeah, the I, I I bought my FL. You got a license, man. My boy got the FL. In like, my name. In man. his name. Exactly. His when he opens FL it says My name. My left corner. Yeah, it don't say somebody else's shit. No or, or nothing. <laughs> None of that. It's my name. That's fire, man. Um, what what uh what do you feel like you know helped you get this good? Were you watching a lot of tutorials and things like that? Um, like before I had a laptop, yeah. But when I got my laptop, like they just started to like fade away from me slowly because I didn't really like being like told what to do. Like it was more so like a how to, but still like to me it's just like you're basically like teaching me how to do what you do, but. I just really go by what I want to do for real. Mm -hmm. But before I got my laptop, definitely I was definitely watching like Nick Mira tutorials and like, like Holy. I was watching Holy. I was okay. watching a lot of Prod by You. I was watching a lot of stuff, bro. Fire, yeah. So they you just use necessarily use the tutorials as a way to teach you what to use. How yeah, to use like the they, like teach me like the interface of the yes of the of the of the program. Yeah, which is super dope. I feel like everyone should watch tutorials because it's it's gonna teach you that and speed that process up for sure. And you supporting YouTubers in the process of learning, bro. So it's like y'all both winning for real. Yeah. Speaking of YouTube, have you ever looked up any Majin's type beats? Definitely, I see a lot. Do you like, have you found any you liked or maybe yeah. you found someone to collaborate the that people made that, The people that make modern sites, be, like, they be hard. And I be seeing them on YouTube. I, I got a couple of friends that do like YouTube beats like Yuki and, and, all that, and Forever and Ali, all that stuff, bro. Mm -hmm. Cool people, bro. But yeah, I definitely see modern type beats on YouTube. They hard. They cool. Well, has there been one where we were just like, bro, what the fuck is this? <laughs> um, Maybe, but I never really like, 
am harsh on people for their for their music mm -hmm. unless unless like they're just like they're like they ask me for like criticism like constructive criticism then i'll just really like deliver like you know what i'm saying i feel that and you you know you got one of the hardest little tags in the underground man my just what the fuck bro. going on hey man how did that come about who's on the tag me you did it yeah but you like did some effects on your voices and shit nah i used the instagram filter it was the it was it was the Cardi one where like they gave you the hair and like the diamonds like the diamond grills, bro, and like it big crushes the audio, bro. I used like I was like twelve at that time, twelve thirteen, bro. So I had that Instagram filter. It was hard, and I needed a new tag because my old tag was butt. So yeah, <laughs> that tag is super hard. Yeah, you just know it's about to be some shit when that comes on. Of course, bro. Um, you know you spoke on Cardi just a second ago. Um, who were you listening to? Like, what artists did you really fuck with growing up? In that time, oh, growing up, or just I mean, your dad's a DJ, so I'm sure you yeah, got hella artists, all types of music, hella artists. Um, growing up, I was but definitely damn, you're still kind of growing up. Yeah, but <laughs> I'm just like starting to get there. But growing up, I was listening like a lot to like a rap music. I used to just listen to beats. Before hey, rap. rap, yeah, I used to just listen to instrumentals and and beats and stuff. Like going to school in the car, like my dad would drop me off to school. I'd just be listening to beats and stuff. But now I do listen to a lot of like my friends. I usually listen to my friends primarily. Okay. Other than like different rappers. Damn. Okay, bet. That's crazy. A rap music is a legend, man. Yeah, he's the goat. A rap music is the goat. I, I mean, why. his 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 sound is so like. It's so clear. Yeah. Like snares, yes, hi hat, everything. Snares, it's just, and it's crazy, Eric, cause like he's like, he's he's like making it like with his fingers, bro. Yeah. Like that's like, and that was and that was what I was doing. Like you was at using first. an MPC and everything. Nah, I didn't have an MPC. I was using my phone. But like when I was like six, my dad let me use his like for a little bit. Okay, but, bet your dad yeah. has an MPC too. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of equipment, bro. Like he he's like a. Junkie, bro, with the equipment. It's called bro. a gearhead. Oh, yeah, gearhead, bro. Your gearhead. Dad. He's a gearhead. Dad, if you see it, you're a gearhead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, I got this already, but I need this one, Yeah, too. <laughs> bro. But, I, hey, it's cool, though, because when he don't use it, guess who'll be using it? you be Me. using it. I'll um, be using it. Man, that's crazy. Yeah, so, we got to um, dive back into Antisocial, mm -hmm. um, how the song came about. It's almost going to be gold, but... You guys all met in Discord and everything. You sons, baby Santana, and everybody. Uh, I met Tana off of Instagram. I met Tana off Instagram, but I met Slum because he asked me for an instrumental to one of the songs I produced. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that way, I just you know joined Tana's live one time and just gave him a beat. That's literally how it went. Mm -hmm. And he called me on Chord. And he just told me, like, yo, this is hard. I'm going to get slump on it. And I was like, all right. I waited. I waited until it dropped. Because at, at first, it got leaked, actually. Yeah. At first, it got leaked. And then it actually came out. And then it was going crazy on TikTok. And I was like, yo, this is lit. Like, this is cool. Like, Shit is crazy, It's me. Man. Like, I'm scrolling, hearing my own, like, music, bro. Not music, but, like, you know what I'm saying? My own creation, bro. It's crazy, man. That song, just seeing experience. those kids perform it all the time is amazing, man. Definitely, um, bro. I really want to talk about just that beat, like that drum. That it's like this drummer boy thing that yeah, comes bro, on. Yeah, like, bro. Where did you get that from? Like, um, did an older beat. Mm -hmm. I thought the older beat, like, like when I did it in the older beat, I thought it wasn't the best, so I scrapped it. But then, like, something just told me to do it again, mm -hmm. and I just did it again. I just feel like that made the song so hard. Like, yeah, if that didn't it's like have a, that, it's like a, I don't know, it's like a preparation. It was just really... like this walk in, this nice build yeah. up to like, and then I. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you make all that yourself or was there a loop involved nah, or anything? It was, it was me and CGM that made that beat, bro. Okay. So, yeah. He made the loop? Mm hmm. Fire, man. Fire. Shout out CGM. Okay, so you also been rapping now. Yeah. You in your rap bag. You you know, you dropped your debut EP back in February, Lost Files 1. Mm-hmm. You know, what went into making that and everything? And why um, did you even want to start rapping? I just wanted something to drop. Lost Files, I just wanted something to drop. I started rapping originally because I seen, I seen, um I went to a studio session and I seen one of the artists that were like recording, 
rap and it looked easy so i just wanted to try it out and i ended up making a song it wasn't the best but i liked it it i, I enjoyed it show it to my friends they didn't like it either but who cares bro i liked it that's all that matters for hey me. you liked it so much you dropped like what five other eps definitely bro. that boy wasn't playing exactly bro man what what did you what do you you know going into this process you know obviously making beats and now uh-huh. rapping, like, what What do you feel like was, like, the hardest part about, you know, now constructing and making music? Um, Getting your fans to like it, that's definitely the hardest part. Because there's going to be some people that just only enjoy your production. There's going to be some people that only enjoy your music, bro. So that's why you fuse them into one, bro. Produce for yourself, bro. That way they have no choice but to listen, bro. Cause they love the margins. Cause these. they like your music. Has it been any moments where it's like, uh, do I give Slump or Tanner or these niggas these beat, or do I keep it for myself? Definitely. There's been like, there's been instances where like I've rapped on a beat and I've gave it to them. So I'm like, damn, I gotta scrap this song now. Mm. It's just really priorities. Yeah, cause ultimately you're gonna make money off of that. Yeah. You know. But then again, you can make money off yourself, but really, bro. You gonna get that? Yeah, yeah. You gonna get that? Uh, good up front. You know Definitely, what I mean? up front. <laughs> up front's going crazy, bro. Man, how many different ways do you make money as a producer? I sell beats online. Um, that's really it. Just selling beats online. Okay. How 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 do you gauge like right now? How do you gauge how much you should be like selling your beats for and shit? Um, I really go over it with my friends, cause my like with me, I'm really more like. I don't know how to explain it. Like, with me, I just need like, I I can have a thought, but I'll just have to run it by my friends, see what they say, like, see if it's like a bad idea. Cause before mm-hmm. I go out in the public, I don't really want to be looking like stupid. So yeah. I just run it by my friends, see if they're like, you know what, bro, you go crazy in the public with this. So that's really how I just, you know, what I'm saying, go over it with my friends. Yeah. Okay. I see. And you, you know, you you produced for Autumn. Mm-hmm. Um. Recently, you did a. Uh, the song Mufasa? No, nah, not recently, but yeah, that was like my first song with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was uh, what was it like hooking up with the underground legend, man? Um, it was pretty cool. It was awesome. The first time I met him was kind of funny though. It was it was pretty lit. What was that like? It was happened? at the. I think it was the first Slump show in Jersey. Okay. So yeah, actually not. It wasn't. It was his show. It was on the Quick Tour. Slump was headlining. So yeah. That's pretty cool. Damn. Yeah, no, Autumn's Autumn's a legend, man, in the underground. It's crazy. He's, to this day, man, One Way is just like, I think that song is super underrated. It should be way bigger than it is. That it's song big, blew though. up, though. That it is big, up. but I feel like it should be, like, way bigger, bro. Like, if it was way bigger, then nah. If it was way bigger than his new fan base that he got from that song, they definitely want him to drop more of that. Mm-hmm. I want to so, hear more. I want to hear more Autumn like that for sure, too. Mm-hmm. Um, you uh, also produced for Yeet super early mm-hmm. on. You did two, early. You did a, a few songs for him. What was it like? You know, did you? How did you get introduced to Yeet and like, you know, seeing where he's at now? Like you did a uh, late night and you know, Racky Fitness. Yeah, I found Yeet. Like it's kind of funny because I found Yeet through Discord. I found Yeet through Discord. One of my friends like put me onto it, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Yo, like, what are the odds?" Like, and this was like early 2021, so I was like, "What are the odds, bro?" I just DM him, ask for his email, send mm-hmm. beats, bro, and I did it, and it worked. So, always shoot your shot. Always. How do you feel like the best way um, to go about building a relationship with like an artist? Because you are in the circle now with like you know the Slums, the Tanas, like mm-hmm. you guys are all super cool and everything, like. Really just exchange com- contact information and just see each other in mm-hmm. real life. Like, that would probably, like, do the best for y'all, I guess. Like, really linking up and everything. Yeah, just, like, have a personal connection. Like, if y'all like the same things, like... Mm-hmm. That's fire, man. Yeah, no, you, you like... You're really, like, the architect, like, behind, behind all, those, all, that, all that music, bro. All that shit, man. Like all those new little young niggas. Is there any like new artists that you're currently work, you know, producing for that you think is yeah, super dope? Yeah, a whole lot of new artists like Jono, Nate Peso, Lewis, 
whole lot of whole lot of new people, bro. It's really lit, bro. How do you go about like who you want to work with and collaborate with and give your beats like? Um, what do you look for, like? I really just look for originality and if they would really go crazy on like mm -hmm. my beats. I try to like have an ear out and just listen out and see if they would go crazy. But sometimes it's just a it's just a a a, a shot in the dark, bro. Sometimes it's just you just do it, just. How do you go about like finding new artists to work with? Is it still like discords and stuff like that? Um, they usually send their stuff to me in the so DMs. So you're checking your DMs? Sometimes, usually. I'm usually like, sometimes I'm off my phone, mm -hmm. but like, if I'm not off my phone, I'll, I'll probably be checking DMs, maybe. I usually gonna take DMs for, 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 you know, business stuff, but yeah, I get a couple, a couple, you know, posts sent to me of their music. They be mm -hmm. hard. It's just like, <laughs> bro. Like quality, bro. It's just they need to increase their quality, bro. Like an increase in quality would definitely, mm -hmm. definitely make people take you more serious. No, a hundred percent. And it's like we do live in. I think if you put the effort in, yeah. you, there's really no excuses now. Cause it's mm -hmm. like, if you got, if you look online and look at tutorials and mm -hmm. shit like that, bro. Like you really could make some good quality. Literally, shit. bro. Like, like there's it's so all in much front of you, bro. It's, it's just you have to go get it. That's really it. It's so much information out there. Like you can't, there you, there's no room for anyone complaining about, oh, my shit's not this, da, da, da. It's like, bro, like the, you was a young nigga, like mm -hmm. really figuring that shit out. I was Tana, like nine years old, bro, watching Nick Mirror make beats, bro. Just, just, just looking, bro. Just seeing what all the features do, bro. Re rewinding the video, bro. It's a whole lot of stuff. You got to have that drive for real, for real. Of course, Who's, man. You know, you, you, you definitely are dominant in the underground, but like mainstream wise, is there anyone you want to work with or you have worked with that something never even really came out? Um, I worked with Lancey Faux before, if that counts. That's fire. Lancey's a legend. Yeah. Um, but people I want to work with in the mainstream, this might sound weird, but like Cardi B, bro. This might sound funny, but you Cardi from B, over bro. here, bro. That don't sound weird. You from you from the East Coast? But it's like biggest. I don't know, bro. But like someone in underground working with Cardi B is like mad, like like different, bro. And that's what I really want to do, bro. I want to really just pop out, bro. Pop out differently, bro. Man, so I'm trying to get the big bag, bro. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that's a big check right there. You get yeah. a song, Cardi B, man. Exactly. I really just handle that after after all the music, though, but. Music with Cardi B would probably be hard. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. She hard. She I hard. mean, her her writer's hard for sure. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, Partisan's hard. That's who write her music. For sure. He hard as hell. Um, he and she are hard as hell. Both both of you guys are are, are good people, bro. Oh my god. Um. Okay, bet. What do you? What, so this next, you working on a new new project or new EP or something? Um. Yeah. Cause you just been dropping a bunch of call singles it though. and like videos and stuff right now yeah i am working on you know compilation music i don't know what to call it though for i don't i don't have a name for a it. a compilation album with all like slums tana and everybody like that i am working on a, on a, on a producer tape also damn Definitely. who's supposed to who do you want to be on there i mean i got a few names on there can't disclose but got a few names on there y'all gonna definitely like it when it when it does come out mm -hmm. what do you want to like accomplish it's gonna be one that. for the books i really want to accomplish like that I could really get shit done like by mm -hmm. myself, bro. Cause I'm probably just gonna executive produce it like like solely me, like no collabs, no nothing, like yeah. just straight solo raw like raw shit. And I'm just I'm just proving a point that I can really get this shit done. Like that's really it for. That's fine. Have you heard any like super big producers have like influence of your sound? Uh, that you like yeah, called it actually, out. Actually, I've heard I've heard a drum roll. A couple of times on the radio. Like a big song? Yeah, on the radio a couple of times. But I've heard a drum roll here and there. But I'm not finna like be weird about it. I'm not gonna like, you know. No, you, you, everyone's inspired, but it's yeah, crazy to see inspired. like that on. Yeah, on the radio. Like, that's, oh, that's like heavy. Like, that's that's crazy. a young Majin vibe right there. Of course, bro. Where did you get this name Majin's from? Um, Is it from Majin Boo? Nah, everyone thinks that. I used to play um, Skate 3. Okay. So, like I would play like online. Mm -hmm. And the names like my old gamer tag was um was just Majin, but it was like spammed like a, a bunch of ends. Oh. So when I did get into like making beats, um that was like the name I was going by. But the at on IG was taken, so 
I switched. I put two A's and I added an S at the end, and I had the OG at. So. Okay. Cool. When you're like making a beat, like what's the first thing you start with? Like what's what's gotta be like? What's set the tone? Is there like a formula for it, or it's like different every time? Melody first, drums after. Like what drum? Is it 808? Is All it right, hi hat? So melody first, clout, hi hat. Like you get everything done before like like before your 808, bro. 808 always comes last, bro. That way, if you're like, let's just say like you're cooking up like with like your friends like in the background like overhearing it, bro. When you add that 808, bro, they're gonna go crazy. I promise you, bro. And if they don't, beats not hitting. Yeah, beats not hitting, bro. Turn it up more or something. You bro. want someone to be over your shoulder, like, damn, I can't wait for you to add that. Yeah, it's like, bro, definitely, bro. Literally, man. that's like the best feeling ever when you're like making a beat and somebody over your shoulder like yo this your art like that's the best. And you ain't feeling. even put the eight oh eight. Yeah, on the you kick. haven't even laid down a single note yet, bro. You haven't even laid down a single eight oh eight note. That's fine. What do you feel like? Your, what do you feel like is like your go to like plug in for melodies? Probably serum. It's mad mediocre, but I use a lot of different sounds though in serum. Like it's not like your typical, you know. Yeah, I use mm -hmm. a lot of different sounds in Serum. Like I play with the the effects folder. Mm -hmm. Like it's a lot of like out of the box, you know. Like yeah. use use what people use, but use what people don't use in <laughs> in what people use, bro. Yeah, Serum's super hard. What do you feel is like a, a super overrated um, VST? Serum. I mean, I use it though, but Serum. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man. Serum. There's a new Serum preset pack coming out like every 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 day, bro, from new producers, bro. That's why it's like, okay, bro. It's like, well, like how many sounds could you really make, bro? Like, but you can really make. I don't even want to know how many, but mm -hmm. there's some new shit. You just gotta really find it. Like, it's really hard to find like new hard shit from Serum, though. Mm, okay, I feel you. I I'm I think. I feel like Omnisphere is kind of like super overrated, but I guess Serum's kind of taking that that reign right now. It's like, um, like personally, I don't think Omnisphere is that good. You don't like Omnisphere, mm. so it's definitely overrated. I should take up hella space. Got dumb Bro, it takes sounds. Like fucking three days to Bro, install. You're not gonna go through all of those sounds, man. I promise you, bro, bro. It takes literally like two days to yeah, install. Yeah, that shit is a video game, bro. That's a whole like you're downloading a video game at that point, bro. 60, 60 gigabytes is crazy, it's bro. It's so big. What 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 drum kits? Like, do you go on Reddit and look for drum kit like drum kits like keep gang so you be on the. Loop I loop. used to, but I stopped. I definitely stopped. Why? Because now you you like you're in a different position now. You want to like support people and stuff. Yeah, that too, and it's like I don't know, like people could be putting in like stuff that's not theirs into the drum kits and that could create a whole new problem, bro. So Oh, people maybe thinking like you're stealing their sauce. Or yeah, like, like, like yeah, it could be a whole new problem, bro. Whole new problem. That's why I stopped really going on Reddit. Cause, yeah. Do you make any like 808s? Do you do sound design yeah, or anything? Yeah, like whenever I'm making a beat and like I make one, yeah, but it's really rare that I'll make like a new 808 or something just out of like the thought of doing it. Like, oh, I'm going to make a new 808 today. Like, I've never said that. I've never said that. <laughs> what do you feel like? Is it for you? Like, is it spins over Pierre 808? Which one? Is? Spins to find the key, Pierre to really shock your friends. Mm. That's what I tell you. So spins, puts drag spins in, find the key, then drag. Then put that Pierre back in, mate. And just take out, oh. take out lesser notes because more space, more space, you know, more artists. More artist space. Yeah, because when you're clock like you're I'm clogging like, the beat, bro, and you just cannot get on that shit, bro. Have like a million hi hats. Niggas make an art in the in the in the MIDI patterns, bro. Like I don't know how to. I don't know how to, I'd get on that. Mm, okay. When do you feel like you've learned that less is more in a beat? Well, at what point was it? An artist that told you, or um, it's a funny story. I was making beats in a studio, and I was making like some crazy shit. I don't even know what it was, but like. Like the artist, right? I had to go to the bathroom. I came back. The artist is like, "Yo, like, can you please like, not use this many air weights?" And I'm just like, "I'm using a lot." Like I didn't know I was using a lot. So he was telling me, I was like, "Oh, okay, bro." So I just started doing less is more, and it, it's, ever it's just it's just it just works, bro. It just yeah, works. I, bro. I feel like producers get into this bag of like. And it's natural when you want to start out. You want to impress 
your peers. You know? Yeah, definitely. Bro. It's just human nature, but it's like the the faster you realize that impressing the person next to you is going to do nothing for you absolutely nothing instead of like impressing the artist and they want to get on it and then now you have a hit song or a song that's moving now the producer is going to want to work you even more because you have exactly, emotion bro. the key man is to make something simple and have that motion exactly bro. if you have a formula down and you see it's working bro do not let up bro i've seen so many people like make a mistake in letting up and trying something new when they clearly have like it working for them bro and they just like it just only goes down from there bro but if you have a formula and you see it's working bro don't let up bro until don't you change feel... other bro if it broke don't fix it exactly bro until you see yourself in a secure place to like experiment if you have someone going for you bro you gotta sound bro don't let up at all yeah well shit man we usually do this to close it out and everything what's your message for our generation uh like like who's filming this video or like our generation, like my generation, like I can't, I can't tell which. Are you talking about like your our generation, generation music? What's your or? message for our generation? Okay. Um. Oh, okay. My generation. Okay. Um. Really, just finish school, bro. Like, just finish school. It looks, it looks good on like every mes, like resume. Like, let's just say you want to be an A and R. You, you submit a resume. Like, you got no colleges. Like, no, none of that. You're not going for one day. Not going to fuck with you, bro. Just finish school, bro. I promise it's going to benefit you, bro, when you do. And tune in your 808s. That's it. For Appreciate you, my boy. All right, bro.